morning guys and today actually is a beautiful morning it's not this breeze very very slight breeze the sun is hot but cool at the same time it's it's nice today this is good weather so um today is kind of just gonna be like one of those chill days again uh really not too much not really too much to do today I wanted to see if I can make it over to Apple to get that charger, but I doubt that's going to happen. Probably going to go to another store with my mom for shopping, just food shopping. Um, which is over by the mall, but whether she wants to take me or not, we'll have to wait until later. Hopefully yes, but I think it's going to be a no. <laughs> I'm in some type of thing. Just kidding. I'm actually in Garden World. We like to go look at all the plants and stuff like that. Aren't these pretty? I love the way this camera, because it shoots in HD, I love the way this camera picks up the, like, amazing amounts of color that these plants give off. I think it's so pretty. Hard to see them in this light though. When it's so bright because the they camera doesn't adjust as much. These come back every year, forget me nots? Well, I guess so. That would it, hence the name Forget Me Not. Greetings to Cosmic June. I don't know, like is that what it means? Yeah, but. I came up with this really good idea. Um, basically, I went through a bunch of magazines and I cut out words um, from, you know, bold words or words that I thought were important to me and stuff like that. So, what I want to do is eventually I'm going to put a desk in this closet. It's a little messy right now, but eventually there'll be a desk there. Um, but I was thinking. Instead of painting the desk and doing all that, what if I paper mache it? And then, you know, and then I'd have to put like a thing to make it smooth and stuff like that. But I thought it was a pretty good idea. It's something different, something more um, creative, but, you know, it's more like personable. Like, you know, it shows your personality, it shows who you are, I think depending on, on what word you pick, pictures, stuff like that. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool idea and I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you have, if I come up with any other ideas, I'll let you guys know. Um, but so far, that's it. So we go away on vacation upstate and I had this good idea. Allison's got to do an art project, schooly. And I was like, you know what? Let me do an art project yeah, too. So, took my canvas canvas. so I was like, canvas. I'm gonna draw this. And. Better. You know what? It is. I don't care about you, Al. Anyway, I don't know if you could see it in that, but I'm gonna put pictures in. Alright. It's a freaking progress. Hey guys. I'm stuck. My grandfather. I'd be weird if he just saw me sit. <laughs> if he just saw me sitting here like this in the thing. <laughs> be pretty funny though, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I guess this is my new spot to vlog at night. One because we just had these lights. Well, I just found out that they were put in. But two because um, I don't know. I just think it's nice. The light that I get from it is nice. The background is nice on it, um, but anyway, so I think, I don't know, I think this is going to be the last video. I can never tell because something may come up 
after I'm done filming, I guess I'll just throw it in. Um, you know what, scratch that. This is the last video of the night. I'm, ex I'm tired. So, anyway, but I did want to talk about this cool thing. My, uh, I saw, that's pretty. Uh, I saw this thing online. It's called How to Get Yourself to Have a Lucid Dream. And if you don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's basically you having total control over your dream. And I thought that was absolutely awesome. Um, but I, I wanted to learn how to do it. But I didn't know that a friend of mine knows how to do it. And she said that it's really cool. But when I said something to my mom about it, she's like, she came up with this argument. Um, is it healthy? You know, if you become really good at having lucid dreams, how do you know what's, you know, how do you know the difference between, you know, your dream and reality? And I thought that was actually a good point. So I'm going to look a little bit more into lucid dreaming and, um, you know, whether it's good or not good for you to be doing. Because if it's okay, I think I'm going to do it because... I have the worst, sometimes I have the absolute, just either the most boring dreams or the worst dreams. And I kind of want to, I want to be able to do things in my dream that I can't do in general, you know, in, in reality. So, um, that'd be pretty cool. But, besides that, um, like I said, this is the last video, so, uh, Thanks for watching, guys, and good night.